Hello there, my name is Tanari, and today I am playing in color. I had to pronounce it like that because apparently it's French. Now, normally when I start these games, I just sort of, you know, look at the picture, mock it a bit and then hit start game. But I'm going to go a little bit into what I've read about this so far, because normally we just sort of yeah, hit start and go balls deep. We don't do any research, but this has been recommended to me. By JP over at VNSnow.com. Yes, I've spoken about him before. He sent me a Skype message last night saying, Please tell me this game is on your hit list this year. Only caveat if you plan on playing it, play it drunk or highly medicated, or it will annoy you. So, a sentence like that can't not pique your interest, right? So, I bothered to actually go out of my way and as opposed to just downloading it and reading like half the bio and skipping over it, I decided to actually read it. And there are some lovely excerpts in the, of excerpts of the plot I'd like to read to you. Now, us, we're Mason. Mason is a freelance makeup artist who's specially known for his beautiful face, but much to others' dismay, he is homosexual. I, that sentence confused- well, two sentences. That sentence confused me. I, he is homosexual? Do they really just go, oh, darling, I'm homosexual? It's, it's odd. Also, although his hair is dyed white, his pale complexion made everyone mistake him for an albino. D what? Because he had dyed white hair? Have they never seen anime? That means everyone's an albino. Did they not think to ask? Ah, but apparently not. Also, something I thought was a joke until, I think, about a week ago... Trigger warnings. I did not realise they were a real thing. I honestly thought that they were a joke, mocking Tumblr. Trigger warnings. The, uh, it, it, and this has a trigger warning as well. This game depicts homosexuality and real life issues. Uh, you know, bloody bloody bloody, blah, disturbed by these uh, themes, it is suggested not to download, play the game. Who sees real life issues and goes, I'm triggered? You know, well, oh, should I have a muffin or should I have toast this morning? <gasps> oh no, that is offensive, Tenarium! Like, that's never going to be offensive. Also, <laughs> I love this little line as well. The concept seems to have lost its meaning during the time I was writing the script, but I decided to still keep the title anyway. <laughs> good, good. Uh, so, I'm not expecting too much of this. It might surprise me. I just doubt it. So are we done with rambling? I think we are. Should we start the game? Also, 1000 by fucking like 500 window. I don't know what the fuck this window is, but it's bloody annoying. So if it seems like the game is low quality and stretched, it's not. It's just that I've had to... Okay, well ignore that. It, it is slightly low quality. <laughs> um, I would say low quality. The background appears to be... I say minimalistic at best. I mean... Come on, these look, just look like huge sugar cubes. There's nothing on the wall, it's just white. Christ, my old art teacher said, I am allergic to everything that's white. You are not to paint anything or leave any part of that piece of paper white. I see what she means. Oh God, also, have we done this visual novel thing where... <laughs> Quickly, we need to set a serious tone. No music, cut the music. I don't want to hear any music or sound effects, damn you. A bottle may have just fallen over. Excuse me. Um, hmm, this guy looks kind of familiar. Have I met him somewhere before? Yes. The music is indeed cut. <laughs> An Bino, are you sure? <laughs> really? Okay. Very sprightly and open-eyed. This is my first time seeing you. Are you new here? Oh, so we're not even going to do that awkward thing where I'm like, uh, hmm... You're that guy, aren't you? Not this is my first time seeing you. <laughs> Whatever. Although he looks really plain. Whoa! <laughs> That's offensive. <laughs> Jesus. Although he seems really plain. Full stop. He seems timid too. That <laughs> full stop. Well, he's blushing. Um, I've recently started working here as a part-time photographer. A photographer, huh? That was unexpected. He doesn't look like one, in my opinion. Uh, for t what, do you, what else do you think he's going to apply here? I'm supposed to be a model, aren't I? I think that was the thing I read in the bio. I'm supposed to be a model. I haven't noticed the photographer. That is impressive. 
Holy shit. I see! Same here. I'm- Oh, right, okay, I'm a freelance makeup artist. <laughs> you can tell by my pale expression, which is, I don't know, a slight more tone of... I don't want to say he looks- Oh my god, I've just actually taken one good look at this guy. Look at his neck. You shall be forth known as Giraffe Man. Look at that. Oh. Do you have to do, like, special exercises to get your neck that big? That is huge. I, it, it starts there, which is my problem. I mean, it's huge. Yeah, I'm a freelance makeup artist. No response, I'll assume he's the shy type. He's not the shy type. You bothered to come over and say something. Why would you freeze up mid-conversation? Ah, I need to ask him his name since we'll be working together. Hey, um, this may seem abrupt, but yes, am I in the way? He had me there. He couldn't stand the awkward silence a moment ago. Well, I understand what JP meant when I needed to be on drugs or heavily medicated to understand what's going on. Still no music. Just, just, just want to point that out. That's really annoying. I, mm, okay. I'm in love with you. Huh? Does he just walk off? Wait. What did he just say? What have I blacked out? Oh, okay, we skipped... <laughs> what? We've just skipped forward, f like, what, three, four hours? Ugh. <clears throat> right, you have to bear in mind that I looked at the comments of this game, and the people that are commenting on the blog, because it's not an actual website, the person's, like, webpage, the blog, the people who comment are the kind of people that put capital T, arrow upwards, capital T, unironically. So, eh, it, it, the, the people who were saying this was good are probably, like, four. Eh? You mean you two just met this morning and he already confessed he got music? <clears throat> Somewhat unfitting music. Yep, it was really surprising. <laughs> this is my sister, Melissa. She's a college student in majoring in piano. Oh, okay, so our main character is aware that we exist. <laughs> what? I don't think I, I have dyed white hair. Am I a ginger, really? Oh, God. She's also the first person I always talk to about my love life, as she has a keen interest in the topic. <sighs> oh, God. Are we a family from Norwich? <clears throat> also, do we... Is that a huge mirror? No, it's not a huge mirror, because there's nothing in it. So, presuming that's like a French window of some sort, why is there a table plunked up next to that? Where's the kitchen? Holy... Balls, this game is really minimalistic. <laughs> There's just nothing. <sighs> he's kind of extreme, huh? Y yes, well done. I wouldn't exactly call it extreme, but I guess he's one of those people who mistake a crush for real love. Maybe. Ah, describe him, describe him. He's not that interesting, no offence. There's something about him that strikes me as familiar, but... Now that's kind of mysterious. Do you see the tone they're trying to set here? Mysterious, she says. I wonder. He's really plain. Oh, you know, black hair, grey eyes. <laughs> Is that how you spell grey? Isn't the colour? I'm almost certain it's not. But black hair, grey eyes. If someone's going, oh, you know, box standard guy. Um, about five eleven. Uh, two or three centimeters like, missing from his right cheek. Like, that's not plain, that's not standard, that's a bit odd. He was wearing, he was just wearing a polo with a shirt underneath and jeans. Was he wearing a polo? I thought he was wearing a jacket. But he's a college student. Wow, sounds really plain to me. See? We both laughed in agreement. There was no malice in it. Sometimes you simply found amusement in the little things. No, there is malice about that. You're mocking someone. That's not laughing with them. That's laughing at them. That's mocking them. I don't mind that. But you do have to admit that you're being a dick first. But I have to admit that he's kind of cute. What? Someone plain... Whatever. Really? Do tell more. Look at Melissa. Oh, no, sorry. Look at her. Melissa, by the way, already has a boyfriend who is a model. <laughs> yeah, she gets me to put on a wig and pretend. Truthfully, my brothers and I didn't really like the idea of her being in a relationship. Her being in relationship. I'm going to assume that this person's first language isn't 
English. There were there were typos in the plot synopsis. <laughs> That's always bad. But we couldn't do anything anyway. Since she's our only sister and the youngest member of the family, we just let her be. What? I'll let that slide. I think we're spoiling her too much, though. Have you seen what she's wearing? Her clothes budget is like a fiver. He blushes easily. Now that is cute. If you're into that kind of thing, I'd find that annoying. I'd hate it if someone spoke up to me and just kept falling over their words. And then she sighed and rested her chin on her hands. And then she sighed and rested her chin on her hands. Okay, can you see her hands? I can't. It looks like she's just breathed in and gone, right? I'm not going to speak until you say something more. Like, <clears throat> Unlike Dagger, who almost never shows any emotions on his handsome face. <laughs> That's how normal people talk. Ha 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 ha. Dagger is Melissa's boyfriend, and he is, as Melissa exactly described, poker-faced. I chuckled at her reaction, amused. Don't be fooled by their timid appearance, Mace. What took you so long? I'm starved. Hi, Malcolm. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you a lesbian? <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I was cleaning up my room, trying to remove the paint spills from the floor, to be accurate. Again, that's like the fifth time today. You're so clumsy. This is my younger brother, Callum. He's bisexual and a graduated art student. Holy shit. I understand that this person <clears throat> is trying to um be sort of open about this kind of thing. But the way you sort of promote bisexuality and homosexuality is not by identifying yourself as it. Hi, this is my younger brother, Al you know, Malcolm. He's a graduated art student and really likes to paint. You shouldn't just say, oh yeah, and he's bisexual too. Like, that, that tells us nothing about his personality. This is supposed to be an introduction to him. <laughs> you don't start spreading it's normal by saying the first thing and highlighting it. While he's passionate about art in general, his speciality is oil painting. He has joined numerous competitions, several of which he's won. Yet we're making him out to be incompetent. Right now, he's working freelance. As I was saying, do not let your guard down, Mace. Men can be foxes too. And be careful with younger guys. They have the tendency to be fucking immature and childish and... God, I want to burn them all. Again, the music seems somewhat off. I remember you telling me to try dating younger men. What happened? Let me guess. You broke up with Siam, didn't you? As expected, whenever Malcolm is in a bad mood and he starts lecturing us, it always has something to do with a breakup. You'd think he'd learn if he goes through that many breakups. Uh, if it's a common enough thing that we've noticed a pattern. Ten points for you, man. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, starts lecturing us and gets really angry about his breakup. We've pointed out his breakup. Ah, oh, you noticed, didn't you? Oh, you're a... Oh, you're a right dark horse, you are. Jesus, sorry, we're a Norwich family. I had to do that sort of weird accent. T, I've got like 50 points already, plus 10. 60. You gotta treat me to the new patisserie near the subway. It's not called a patisserie in America. This person's almost definitely French. Noted. Malcolm winked at Melissa, who was happy to have gotten a treat. Malcolm's the one who's spoiling Melissa. He worst. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it hasn't been a great year for visual novels so far, has it? <laughs> these, these two months have not been good. <clears throat> so what happened with Siam? Oh, we're just going to bring that up again, are we? Okay. Malcolm's smile turned into a frown and grunted deeply. His brows furrowed. No good. He's been two-timing me all along. With a female. But you're bisexual. Why should that matter? What? Ouch. Right? I shouldn't have gone after him. I knew he was trouble. By Taylor Shift. What? <laughs> Did... No good, it's been two-timing me all along. Ouch. Right, I shouldn't have gone for him. I knew it was trouble. By Taylor Shift. 
God knows. Shut it, Mel. If you knew he was no good, you should have avoided tracing after the guy. No, he probably didn't know that. He's saying it in retrospect. Sorry, curious cat here. Malcolm's... <laughs> oh, for God's sake. They could have just said they didn't have to mention he was bisexual at all. Like, at no point did they have to say, oh... He's, uh, he's bisexual. He didn't have to say it. How's your relationship with Siam going? Oh, well, he cheated on me with a woman. Like, that's all you had to say. <laughs> and then we said he's gay, and then you said something about women. Like, as easy as that. You don't have to say, oh, he's bisexual, by the way. <sighs> he's gone out with more guys than women. I've already lost count of how many lovers he had. <laughs> Is it love as though it sounds more like flings? Take a break, Malcolm. Nah. Anyway, be smart, mace. <laughs> Very casual about it. Playing guys... Fuck. Playing guys can be aggressive and violent once you know them, especially younger ones. <clears throat> I have a huge, huge pool of one person vouching for me. Whatever. Yes, yes. If I hadn't agreed, Malcolm would, would have just kept going on and on. And that's the last thing I want. Where's Dave, by the way? <gasps> There's someone in the game called Dave! There's a Dave in the game! This game's got so much better all of a sudden. Uh, he said he'll be coming home late today, so let's just eat without him. Are we not going to cook for him as well? Oh, okay. Roger that. That guy is like the most mood swingy person ever. Oh, don't tell me we've just cut the fucking music again. Have we really done that? Have we cut the music? No music. I... After we had dinner, we all retreated for the night. So we had nothing interesting to say during dinner. All that and nothing. Okay. I'm beat! This is my room. It consists of a bed, a desk, two paintings, and that's it. Uh, it it's a very minimalist game. Which would be fine if the art style was supposed to be that, but considering we're supposed to be in just someone normal house. Like... I threw myself up on the bed and curled up. Every day is a slog. Working freelance is exhausting. Always juggling multiple jobs at once and managing time was no easy task, so to speak. <laughs> so to speak? What? <laughs> Yet, I'm forever grateful for the opportunity. I wanted to take a nap, so I closed my eyes. That's not called a nap, that's called sleeping in. Just in time for someone to knock against the door. Mason! I recognised that voice. I sleepily mustered mine to formulate an answer. Yes, come on in. Not even... Give me a minute, I'm in bed. Chances are I'm not wearing this jumper, which... Yeah, whatever. A tall man with a stern face entered. The light made his green eyes stand out. You don't notice if you're a guy. Stop lying. I think it's the same even if you're gay or bisexual or pansexual or one of the other many sexualities Tumblr has created. So, like... I, that one looks... It looks a little bit blue if you sort of catch it suddenly. Definitely gay, though. Hi, David. I am greet... I greeted with a grin. This is David, the oldest among the siblings. He's an established conductor who has performed all over Europe with particular success in France. Yes, okay, so the author's French, I get it. He's engaged to a French woman and their wedding will be held next year. <laughs> These guys have no personality at all. The only thing that should interest you is their sexuality. 